the cancer of Islam is rapidly spreading across the planet, thanks to liberal politicians who keep letting these vermin invade westernized countries. As terror attacks committed by Muslims are now becoming an almost everyday occurrence, what's even more horrifying is that distraught citizens are being silenced for speaking out against Islam, as we continue to see people across Europe being imprisoned for saying negative things about Muslims, as Islam anti-blasphemy laws are now being held up in courts. While we would expect that sort of nonsense to go on in countries like Canada and Germany, that very sort of thing is now happening right under our noses in California, after a judge handed down an unbelievable sentence to someone who dared to blaspheme the peaceful religion of Islam. 41-year-old California resident Mark Feigen is a typical outraged American who is fed up with Islam and the disgusting changes that Muslims are bringing to his state. In addition to Muslims refusing to assimilate and pushing their third world practices down our throats, disease that were once completely eradicated are now popping up all over the United States, where California is suffering the most from these Muslim refugees. Briet Bart reports that six diseases that were virtually eradicated in our country are now making a comeback thanks to the hordes of Muslims that keep invading, including tuberculosis, measles, whooping cough, mumps, scarlet fever, and even the bubonic plague. So naturally, witnessing how portions of his home state transforming into a Sharia swamp was enough to make Mark Feigen verbalize his sentiments against Muslims and their religion where he took to the Islamic Center of Southern California's Facebook page in September 2016 and told them exactly what he thought of their peaceful religion. Here are some of his comments to the Muslim's Facebook page, The Terror Hike. Sounds like fun, written in response to the center's sunset hike announcement. The more Muslims we allow into America the more terror we will see. Practicing Islam can slow or even reverse the process of human evolution. Islam is dangerous, in fact, the more Muslim savages we allow into America, the more terror we will see this is a fact which is undeniable. Filthy Muslim shed has no place in Western civilization. But now Feigen exercising his God-given First Amendment rights as an American could now get him sent to prison for a long time, as California is now actively prosecuting him, asserting that his speeches should not be protected by the First Amendment. Information Liberation Reports, California Attorney General Xavier Becerra is attempting to prosecute 41-year-old Mark Feigen for criticizing Muslims on the Islamic Center of Southern California's Facebook page in September 2016. The Attorney General's office claims Feigen's Facebook posts were meant to annoy and harass through repeated contact by means of an electronic communication device in violation of California Penal Code Section 653 meters b, and should therefore not be protected by the First Amendment. The posts, the California AG's office argues, were, were made with a specific intent to annoy and harass the members of the ICSC because Feigen was not trying to engage in any kind of political discussion but instead trying to vex members of the ICSC with his thoughts about their religion. The posts are criminal because they constitute repeated harassment from those who wish to mock and disparage their religion, and, are other than attempt to engage in discussion or debate, are cruel and pointedly aimed at dismissing an entire religion and those who practice it. This sets an extremely dangerous precedence in this country. Since when is our free speech as Americans limited if it annoys and harasses Muslims? This is chillingly very similar to what's happening right now in Minnesota, where the Muslim-loving mayor Betsy Hodges recently set up a hotline so Muslims can call in and report any American who harasses or speaks out against their religion. While this sounds like something you'd read off of a conspiracy website, it's really happening. According to Minneapolis local newspaper, the Star Tribune, the hotline was set up as a way to target Trump supporters, who Muslims believe are the group of people most likely to harass them. The Star Tribune reported, underscore the city of Minneapolis has set up a hotline for residents to report hate crime incidents and other acts of intolerance. Underscore, underscore the service, operated through the city's 311 helpline, is aimed to aid targets of any harassing behaviors motivated by prejudice 
According to a City News release issued on Monday. Underscore, the announcement comes amid signs of the recent surge of such incidents affecting Muslims and Jews across the country, many of which go unreported. Since the general election, many of us have experienced, witnessed firsthand or heard of actions of racism, xenophobia, sexism and bigotry directed at people here and in cities across the United States. Minneapolis Department of Civil Rights Director Val McCorbel wrote in a statement posted on the city's website. In no uncertain terms, hate-motivated speech and actions have no place in Minneapolis nor will they be tolerated. The city's Department of Civil Rights along with mayor is leading the charge for this government-enforced fascism, as this new hotline will now encourage citizens to turn in their neighbors for holding opinions deemed forbidden by the state. This hotline flies right in the face of our United States Constitution, where it goes to the heart of denying American citizens their inalienable rights of the First Amendment, which governments cannot do. Anti-blasphemy laws have been a massive victory for Muslims across the world, as now followers of Islam can have people who speak out or criticize their religion thrown into prison. If Mark Feigen is thrown in prison for slandering Islam, America as we know it could rapidly end overnight as this case would set a new precedence in our country that Americans can be jailed for speaking out against Islam.